Okay, Cam, thanks very much for joining us again. 1-1 um, one, one against a very difficult side, probably the best side that we played in the league mm. uh, at Aldis Park this season. Yeah. Uh, you came on in the second half uh, when we were 1-0 down, but from what you saw and what you saw on the pitch, how do you think the game went for Durham Town today? I mean, you can tell why Lake and Heath haven't dropped many points this year. Um, physical in both boxes, um, tried to play... The, pretty much how we try and play, try and play out. Um, goalkeeper as well, very direct, so can turn it really quick, so they've got a bit of variety. Um, so yeah, you can see why they're up there really, um, which equated to being probably the hardest game we've had at home anyway, because a lot of times, or most weeks we play at home, we like to, or we usually have a lot of the possession. I think we did that again today. I think we had the majority of possession, but maybe didn't really create enough chances, uh, definitely in the first half. I thought we were a little bit better, a bit brighter, in the second half. Um, I think a draw may be a fair result. Um, they had a couple of chances. They're definitely a threat from set pieces. Um, I know Bottle had one in the first half. It was just a bit on the stretch. But other than that, I don't really think either team created too many clear-cut chances. Um, I think the two clear-cut chances got put away, really. Um, and that was about it, really. I think a draw would be fair. And fair enough. Uh, you mentioned their goalkeeper. He had, he had a good game. Yeah. We put him under a lot of pressure and forced him to make a lot of good saves. Yeah. He seemed to command the box area uh, well. And, and we also saw from their back four, they were very quick uh, to get the ball out of feet and that they moved the ball around quickly and didn't give us a chance to box them in. Uh, do you think our, our, our front line was, was, was stretched at any point? I think the I think Lake and Eve are you know notoriously the, the physical side um, aggressive in the tackle aggressive in the press and stuff like that and I think they were today and it, and it plays to their strengths um, I think uh, Ross Bailey for Lake and Eve number seven going off in the first half he's sort of their playmaker so I think it had to make them adapt which allowed us to grow into the game a little bit quicker probably um, the goalkeeper again as I say very direct um, they've got a style of play and they're effective at doing it um, I don't think. I think Bottle, again, was quiet in the first half. We know how good he is. Um, but the second half, he, he showed us how good he is. I think it just took him a t bit of time to grow into the game. Um, I thought Spooner, again, was excellent. Um, rightfully so, keeping his place from Tuesday night's game and causing problems because he's not an out-and-out -out nine who sits on a centre half. He picks those pockets and links up really well with the likes of Jamie Knopf and Sweeney and stuff like that, technically gifted players, and creates pockets elsewhere. And I think that... Lake and he probably expected us to play an out and out nine, someone to have a tussle with, someone to have a fight, and then when Spooner plays, it kind of creates gaps elsewhere. So I thought they played really well. I think that second half, as I said, just putting me on and adding a different dynamic to the game probably changed it a little bit. Obviously, I scored, but other than that, I think it freed up Spooner to pick up the ball in areas where he could affect the game. So we'll come back to your goal in a minute, mm. but. Um... Do you think in the first half, you're obviously on the bench when this happened, but when Mac G went off uh, as part of that, that the, the yeah. Sinvin rule, uh, it, it seemed from the outside looking in that uh, momentum shifted at that point when we went down to 10 men temporarily. Yeah. What was the talk on the bench? Uh, how, how did we feel that we was best to cope with that? I think if any team in this league goes down to 10 men for 10 minutes, you, if you can't win the game, you don't you don't lose it. I think the, gate, the, the the message that was coming on from the bench was manage the next ten minutes, because it was in the first half. We can you know go out in the second half and and, and impose ourselves, but if you're down to ten men, you've you've really got to just make sure you don't concede. Um, probably um, even when Matt came back on, it was just before half time. It probably stopped us from being as fluid in attack. Probably stopped us from being as brave as we probably could have been. Um, but you don't concede in those 10 minutes. You give yourself a chance in that second half, which is what we've done. Um, give ourselves a chance to get a result. So, yeah, I think the message was, you know, manage the next 10 minutes. Make sure that when we get a living back on the ball, it's still 1-0. Um, and, yeah, the lads did that well. So we missed Ben Lewis today because, yeah. uh, you know, for, for, for non-footballing reasons. But uh, Harvey Gillum came on and, and um, he played very well. Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't feel that there was a, a, a direct threat through through that channel. Uh, how, how was uh, Harvey received amongst the players? Did, did everyone feel that he'd, he'd done well and justified his place? Yeah, I don't think Harvey's had a bad game for us, really. I think every time he's, he's come in, whether it be Pitcher or Ben Lewis or whatever, has been out for whatever reason, Harvey's always come in and, and yeah, he's young, but you can tell that he's got a football and brain and he's not scared. Um, he always wants to get on the ball, positive player, um, which suits us down to the ground. Um, 
tough as well for his age, to be fair. Plays, plays it like he's a man, um, he, despite his, his years. Um, I don't think whenever anyone sees Harvey's name on the team sheet, they're not, you know, they're not upset. I think you look at it and you go, he's, he's a great replacement if, if Ben or, or Pitch or whoever on the fullback side of it is missing. Um, I think because he's young, he'll, he'll keep developing and the more minutes he gets, the better he'll become. And as I say, if he's in the team, no one's worried. He's so we'll focus on the positives now. So um, yeah. obviously it's brilliant that Harvey's doing well. Yeah. Um, but your goal today, um, it, it, talk us through your goal, how you f felt it went, because it looked like it was, I said to you outside, it was one of the best goals you've scored for us today and you yeah. are our top goal scorer. How, uh, talk us through the goal, how it went in for you. Um, I think, well, definitely the message I got before I, I went on was basically play as high as possible um, because I played differently to how Spooner played the first half, dropping into the pockets, so I'd play on, on, on the centre half. Um, and yeah, the, the message to me was to stretch the game, basically to allow others to get on the ball in those, in those pockets. Um, when Mac G opens up on his left foot, someone's got to make that run. Um, I've seen the centre halves playing quite a high line, um, big gap between them and the goalkeeper. So just hit an area. Um, Max played a perfect ball, to be fair, because it's pretty much, I took the first touch and a full sprint. So the stride and the ball was perfect. Um, I could see the centre half coming across, um, so yeah, it was just a case of instinct really that I knew I had to get my shot off early, and fortunately it nestled in the in the bottom corner. I was going to say nestled is probably the right term. Yeah. As fans watching it from behind the goal, we it, we time stood still for a little while. It was one of those, wasn't it, where we yeah. think hit the inside of the post, not the outside of the post. Did it, was it the same for you as you were yeah. as you were running away as, as the moment? Because I knew the centre half was coming, my thought process and that snap decision was hit it across goal because. Even if a keeper saves it, someone's got a chance of tapping it in. Um, and it was just about contact, really. Um, the touch was, as I say, perfectly in my stride. And then the next one was the exact same. Um, for me, it's hit the target. If the keeper saves it, then, you know, I've made him work. Um, and if he pans it out to Sweeney or whoever's arriving, even better. Um, just got a really good contact. It went exactly where I wanted it to go. Um, and as you say, it was a little bit... It's time stood still because the keeper's almost got to it, to be fair to him. Um, but it's just clipped the inside of the post and gone in. So Well, we'll take perfect. it. It's a goal yeah, we definitely perfect, deserved. Yeah. Um, Sam Watts today got man of the match from yeah. the supporters. Um, <clears throat> he seemed dominant in the air at the back particularly and, and, and yeah, dominant as well in, in the tackle. It, would you agree that that's a fair call for man of the match today? Yeah, I think Sam's always like that, isn't he? Every, every game, he, he, he gives you the physicality, he gives you the um, confidence that you know, you've got someone back there that will literally put his face on the line if, if required. Um, evident from what happened a couple of weeks ago at Fakenham. Um, a worthy man of the match. Every 50-50 duel, you, you fancy him. Every time the ball goes in the box, you fancy him to be the first contact. Every time someone's going to have a shot, you fancy him again to be the first one to block it. Um, he's just experienced and just a really, really good centre-half. A really dominant centre-half. So looking forward, we've got We've played a uh, top-of-the-table team today and, yeah. and we've got a point. We're still unbeaten at home, of course, yeah. as well. Um, Tuesday, we've got an equal test, I would say, or maybe a, a bigger test in Thetford. Yeah. Uh, from the, from uh, what you've discussed and what you've spoken about with the squad, how are we looking? How are we, looking? Are we, are we confident going into that? I don't think that we fear anyone in the league. I think that you know there's been a couple of results this season where we've sort of had to hang our heads and just say that weren't good enough. Um, but we're a new squad, there's so many new players that I think that when games are tough, we've been found wanting a little bit, but we're learning. And as the season goes on, we are growing. Um, <clears throat> I think on Tuesday night, uh, yeah, Tuesday night will be a tough game because clearly what they did last year, they've carried on this year. Um, but I don't think we're scared of any team, especially when we bring them to the home ground, because as you say, we haven't we aren't lost a game here. Um, I think it'll be a strange game in the fact that both of us like possession. We're both possession-based teams. Um, and I guess it would just be who's more clinical in the boxes because I, rec I think that the turnover will be high. I think the game will be scrappy at times because it's both teams want to play. Um, it'll be an entertaining game, to say the least. Excellent. So we're all looking forward to the Thetford game. We really think it's going to be a tough game, similar to today. Mm. Uh, Toast is not here, but do you think you've earned enough today to get a starting, uh, a starting shout for the Thetford game? Uh, I mean, you look at the squad, there's so many good players. I don't think anyone's nailed on the position ever, um, apart from maybe Coombsy. 
Um, I think that th we've made so many changes every single game. It keeps the players on their toes and it makes them, you know, know that if you don't perform, you ain't playing. Um, hopefully, coming on today, making an impact will mean that Tuesday, first name on the team sheet. But I won't be disappointed if I'm not. You know, the lads played well on Tuesday and um, deservedly didn't change the squad apart from um, force changes um, from obviously Reese missing. Um, we've got a result of some sort today from being 1-0 down. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. But... I'd like to think I'll be starting, but if not, it doesn't really change anything because I'll still be hungry when I come on. Excellent. Perfect response from a team, man. <laughs> Good luck on Tuesday and well played today. Cheers, well done, Thank Cheers. you very much.